At everyone, Discord's new moderation system is scanning your messages and photos, and if they break the rules, you will be automatically banned. Now, you've probably seen this message or heard of it from one of your friends, but does Discord scan your messages? How does this new system work? And why did Discord change their moderation system in the first place? So let's dive into the aluminum mines and understand how people got their tinfoil hats. And it all started from this one video from Discord. Oops, you went all in. Discord's new warning system sends a DM, letting you know what happened. In the detail modal, you'll get a better idea of which rule was broken and other info too. All of this activity can now be found in your privacy and safety settings. Believe it or not, those 15 seconds turned into a 10 hour headache of me making this video because people were outraged. And also let me save this sticking your gya out for the Rizzler video for later. So anytime there's any sort of drama on Discord, r slash Discord app is the cesspool to go to. But this community theory of Discord scanning all your messages actually spread to the holy grail of the internet, TikTok. Now just as a very friendly reminder, people on TikTok talk are idiots. When you're observing creatures at the zoo, don't taunt them. Don't harass these people. Just remember, their brains have dissolved after watching videos like this. But this TikTok that got over 400,000 views talks about how Discord is so jover. Because according to this tweet that is deleted, it says that Discord is about to introduce an extremely intrusive update and it scans literally everything you send and punishes you, automatically bans you, if it thinks you are acting out of line. And the worst part about this all is that when you go into the comments, everyone's just in blind agreement with this. No one's saying anything about this being bogus. So that means it must be true. But everything just got much worse because this person person's physics homework got marked as explicit. To be fair, they're talking about friction and uh, I'm gonna stop myself there. But their innocent image of math homework got marked as explicit. And in the comments, someone was going absolutely wild because they assumed that if Discord marks an image as explicit, you are going to get warned or potentially banned off Discord. But is this the truth? Does Discord scan your images? Do they scan your messages? Well, I'm glad you asked. But Discord does scan your images. In fact, Discord proactively scans images uploaded to their platform using photo DNA, and I've talked about it in this video. But Discord also released a new feature called sensitive content filters, where Discord will automatically scan your image and see if it's sensitive content, which is why that poor soul's math homework got marked as sensitive content. So it's clear that Discord will scan your images. But what about your messages? Now, according to Discord and how they investigate, if you uh, scroll down what they tell you, and this also matches what I personally experienced, but Discord does not monitor every single server or every single conversation, unless you're a user engaging in illegal activity or violating our policies. So if you give Discord a good reason to scan your messages, then they will. But if you're just talking to your friends, not much of a worry. But I do want to point out that Discord might be scanning your messages in the future, because in a Verge article that I'll have linked in the description, it says that Discord is planning to expand these AI models beyond just blurring. In fact, what they're trying to do is they're trying to protect against other forms of challenging content. And they talk about grooming, which is something that is usually text-based. So overall, Discord won't scan your messages unless you give them a really good reason to. However, with images, Discord does scan your images, and there are privacy concerns with that. And thankfully, the good journalism of The Verge, which I will discredit later, they talk to Discord about privacy, and Discord argues its scanning isn't an invasion of privacy because it's using AI models instead of humans. I personally don't think humans could could physically, it's physically impossible for them to go through and invade the privacy of 150 million monthly active users. That's just way too much information for like humans to process. But artificial intelligence, AI, that thing's a gosh darn computer. And that could probably make processing all that information possible. This is a really shitty take from Discord. I'm not too comfortable with this. But also, just common sense, don't send your ID through Discord. That's stupid. And to the one person that did that, I I'm sorry to call you out like that. That. Now I do have one more concern, because here's the thing, AI models tend to drift a little. It'll make a little mistake, and learn from that little mistake and think that's normal. And it'll continue on down a very deep and dark path, and potentially start falsely banning people. For example, Microsoft's Tay AI chatbot. It started off as a sweetheart, that was my e-wife, and then it turned into an average 4chan user, and I paid so much on the dowry. Now I do want to point out that there was another conspiracy theory with this Discord update, and it came directly from The Verge 
because they have a really clickbait title. Discord is going to give out warnings instead of permanent bans. Yo, Tom, I, I understand what you mean here, but for anyone that's scanning their phone and just reading headlines, this makes it sound like that Discord will not ban you. And that's what people believed, and I'll explain how it actually works in a little bit. But since I'm on the topic anyways, I kind of want to explain how I think this misinformation train happened. The whole entire thing started off with Discord's video here, Discord's warning system, and this came out five days ago on October 25th, 2023. And there was a degenerate YouTuber, lives in his basement all the time, that also released a video five days ago. And it talked about how Discord was automatically scanning your images. But things get even worse because kabam, look at the screenshot. Enhance. Zoom in. You see that? Our teams use automation and manual review to enforce our rules. In my TikTok brain, engaged. Discord is automatically banning people. Time to spread the word to all my friends and spread this misinformation. All right, I'm going to tone down the dumbness for now. Let's explain how the system actually works. So if this is available to you right now, you should be able to go to your Discord settings, go to privacy and safety, and click on account standing. And every single one of you, if you've been a goody two shoes for a couple weeks, you will see that you are all good because everyone gets a fresh start. If you've had Discord warnings before, those don't carry over. But if you've been banned off Discord, I don't think they're unbanning you. You can keep on dreaming, boy. Now, as you get more and more in trouble, Discord will start to limit what you can do on Discord. You go from all good to limited and just oh, don't make your way down the ladder. But for example, if you broke Discord's rules, you would get a notification like this. You broke the rules against hateful conduct and it will show you your message. It is like sticking a dog's nose where it peed on the carpet to tell it that was bad. But looking down even further, Discord tells you what actions they took. Now, usually what they do is they remove the content, so they delete your message, but you now have temporary bans. You can't send messages for an hour and you can't upload files for an hour. And the more you break rules, the longer that this will be. And this violation affects your account status until 8-23-23. So after a certain period of time, this warning will disappear. And to understand this new warning system, we need to understand that warnings and violations are two different things. Violations are when you actually break the rules of Discord. But warnings are a little bit different. You will get a warning if you're in a server that broke Discord's rules or if you interacted with content that broke our rules. So for example, your friend might have sent you that Five Nights at Freddy's movie and you might have said, wow, that's sick. And then you watched it there. Discord might give you a little bit of a warning. I'm getting warned, boys. But in terms of warnings, these are typically automated because Discord's not going to manually warn every single person in a server that broke their rules. But in some cases, Discord will give you a warning even if it stems from someone reporting your message. So for example, if someone reported your message for harassment, and it was maybe you being a little bit rude, Discord will just slap you on the wrist with a warning. And for violations, these usually stem from people reporting your message. Now this raises the question, when someone reports you on Discord, does that report go through some sort of automated AI? Well, that's a fantastic question. Well, it turns out that one of my staff members, Fishy, asked Discord Trust and Safety. They are a better journalist than I am. And I recreated the message here, but basically what Trust and Safety said is that when a report is received, it will be processed by the Trust and Safety team. It is not an automated automatic process, and human judgment is always involved in these decisions. Now, personally, I've had my doubts with a couple of warnings I've gotten before, but we'll move on. So how do punishments work? Well, for warnings, they will not do anything to your account standing. Warnings are, once again, basically Discord telling you to stop. But violations, when you actually do break Discord's terms of service, it will affect your account standing. And remember the conspiracy theory of it being impossible to be banned off Discord because of The Verge's awful title? Well, that could not be any further from the truth. If you keep on breaking rules, you might get a temporary suspension that can last up to a whole entire year. Wait, so there's no such thing as permanent bans? It's only one year? No, you just have to look down a little bit further. Permanent suspension, formerly called bans, do not expire. This is a permanent ban off Discord. But how many times do I need to get in trouble before Discord will finally ban me off the platform? Well, that's what this question asks, and uh, Discord doesn't tell you. Basically, every single thing you do on Discord that breaks the rules is weighted differently. So if you're spamming, that might be a slap on the wrist, you know, just a little punishment. But if you're doing something really bad, like with regards to child safety, then you are instantly going to be led straight to a permanent suspension. So now you might be asking, is this system out right now? Well, according to Discord's article, it's going to start rolling out on October 24th. That was six days ago. In select regions. And it turns 
turns out for some stinking little reason, it seems like it's out for a lot of people in Canada. And to be honest, this makes sense. We're not going to overload the system with us being bad, because we're Canadians. We're nice. Also, go f*** yourself. Now, the last question that you probably have is why is Discord revamping their system? What is the whole point of all this charade nonsense garbage? Well, there's been some basement dwelling nerd saying that the Discord trust and safety team isn't transparent and it's a black box. And this whole entire feature is to be more transparent. And this should hopefully make it a little bit better. And really, the best part about this is that Discord employees are even pretty excited about this. To be fair, this is coming from the, uh, oh god, what was the Senior Director of Policy. Had a look at my notes for that one. But they said that we think we've built the most nuanced, comprehensive, and proportionate warning system of any platform. What Discord's trying to do is they are trying to make teenagers have the ability to change, aka learn from your mistakes like a grown adult. Now I'm skeptical, because I know the creatures on Discord. This could either be really, really good, or it could be a complete disaster. And in the worst case scenario, Discord will just keep on working on this and make it an actual system that's good. So gamers, this was actually a massive U-turn before you thought Discord was evil and scanning your messages, but in fact, they're working on a system that might have a lot of promise. This is exactly like a happy ending mis uh, fairy tale. Anyway, sweetheart, bye-bye, I love you. Mwah!